Peace, peace. This is Ampu Ra with another video on astral travel. Uh, I know it's been a minute I haven't did a video on astral traveling or out of body experiences. Um, to be honest with you, I just haven't had one. The last one I think I had one is, uh, this would be number 42, I believe. But the last one I had was uh, in August. It was in August in, um, in the summertime. And with this one, with this, within this experience, um, it happened, uh, I know I'm a little late on it. I just haven't had the time to do this video, but I finally got some time. I'm a very, a very busy individual. Um, There's a lot going on, you know, starting 2019. Um, so this experience happened in January 22nd, 2019. So this is my first out of body conscious experience for the year. And I'm pretty sure there's going to be more. Uh, for those that have been tuning in, you know, I want to say thank you for tuning in. I know, you know, just I always tell people or watchers that uh, this is not for everybody. And for those newcomers that subscribe, welcome. Thank you for subscribing and tuning in to this powerful information. Um, if you haven't watched all my videos, I advise you to. It's really good information. Um, I'm not no professional public speaker. I'm just a normal entity that's on a journey just like you. And if you've been watching, I'm pretty sure that you are also on that, on that same path. You're searching, you know. And this is what this channel is about. I mean, it's all about me, pretty much. But it's also tapping, mostly tapping into hidden knowledge. And that's what I love, you know, to research, to read, you know, to conversate about. I find that those topics more interesting than, you know, what goes on with these celebrities and you know this person this celebrity is getting married or this happened here and i ain't got time for all that or the crazy news that you see on the media i don't let those things into my existence right um i definitely uh want to give a special shout out to a new subscriber my cousin i see you my boy david you know good dude very good dude so welcome I'm pretty sure you've been uh, tapping into my videos but definitely want to give a special shout out to you and also a lot of the friends and family members that tapped in because I found out that a lot of people that know me are now watching my videos so it's pretty cool because I've never I'm the type of person that didn't just put this stuff out there like telling my friends and family about uh, this type of information you know, not it's not that, that I was uh, embarrassed of it. It was just that I didn't think that um, you know a lot of these individuals was interested in this type of information. You know, but in the beginning, you know, I was like that. It's it's kind of hard to come out to speak about certain experiences that a lot of people don't have. You know, you just have to understand that we are all in this big dream having a human experience and through this human experience we are tapped in our energy bodies are tapped into these physical bodies to have these experiences right and i you know i spoke about it on one of my old videos a biological entity if you haven't seen it it's very deep check it out you know drop a comment on it let me know what are your thoughts you know it's no it's no right or wrong opinions opinions is an opinion and you know it's good dialogue it's good it's some good stuff to talk about things that make sense of talking about not uh you know is takashi 69 getting out of jail or oh my god did you see what beyonce was wearing and let's talk about some real stuff you know let's talk about, let's get let's get down to the real real deep spirituality things so um like I said, with this experience, um, it happened January 22nd, 2019, and um, I always document my experiences. 
so and I always you know explain you know to the viewers that I am no special than you okay when it comes to astral traveling, when it comes to lucid dreaming or having an out-of-body experience, we do it every night, all of us. It's just that some of us are conscious, some of us is not. Being conscious means you're fully aware, okay? You understand what's going on. You're like, you're in the now, okay? And um, it was pretty deep. So usually when I have an out-of-body experience, you know, I would have a vibration and I would separate from my body. With this particular um, experience, it was a lucid dream. It was a lucid dream. A very powerful one. And like I said, when you're dreaming, you're astral traveling. Okay? This is why I always, always stress that you need to remember your dreams. Write them down. Because that is you journeying, you know, through these higher realms. Or some, in, you know, some entities journey to lower realms. Depends on your experience. But every experience is a good experience. It's a good learning experience. So you want to tap into these type of things. You want to pay more, you want to pay more attention to these things. Because these, and the reason why is like, why? It's not so important. It's just a dream. You have to understand this is part of your existence. And this also plays a big part on what you're going to do, where you're going to go, and what you're going to experience once you leave this physical realm. It's basically going to prepare you. You know, you're going to, um, you're going to see death in a different light, you know. And I know it's hard to say, you know, because we're dealing with emotions, but it's true. So, but you gotta pay attention to your dreams. And the more you pay attention to your dreams, it's like, you're just gonna get better and better at it. And it kind of helps your memory. And it's good for memory, right? It's, a mem it's, a, it's like using, it's like memory exercise. You're exercising your consciousness. So every time you get up, you know, you jot it down, you know, you read it throughout the day, or keep thinking about it. That's good for you. It's good for your memory too. I mean, you've got a lot of people out here that, that hit a certain age, and guess what happened? They start losing their memory. They start losing, you know, that ability. You know, end up with Alzheimer's and stuff like that. So it's a good tool to use, and it's going to help you spiritually. You know, it's going to help you. It's not going to help nobody else. I mean, then again, it could because some dreams you predict things, and then you could probably predict something from happening, right? Uh, dealing with deja vu, all this stuff ties in together. But back to this experience on January twenty second, two thousand nineteen. Um, I was having a dream. I was in a dream, and like I said, I dream every night. I wake up, I remember every dream. So my, my mind is programmed to do this. How? Because I program my mind to do that. And like I said, your brain is like a computer. You can program your mind to do it. It takes time and it takes practice. And don't think that it's just gonna happen overnight. For some people it does. Some people have that ability and you know they can do that. But you know, for me it was kind of pretty easy because it just happens all the time. And especially having so many out-of-body experiences, that has also helped me as well. But uh, within this experience, I was in a dream and I wasn't conscious. I was just going with the flow. And it was crazy because the dream started as I was helping this town. And I'm trying to give you a year because it was like in the past. It was like if I was living in ancient times, pretty much. Right. It was like the setting was like, I know for, for those that watch The Lord of the Rings or um, what's another good show to uh, Game of Thrones. I'm a big Game of Thrones uh, fan. They about to drop another season, the, the last final one. Um, maybe this experience kind of like, you know, me watching a trailer a long time ago and maybe it kicked in my conscious and I was in this type of setting like in that period of time of, you know, riding horses, swords and arrows and dragons and in that type of sense. So this is what the dream was. I was helping this town um, 
because they were being uh, attacked by a dragon, right? Go figure. They were being attacked by a dragon. And you know when you're dealing with dreams, it's always it's good to pay attention to because it it's dealing with a lot of symbology. A lot of symbology within places, people, and things. So you got to pay attention to these things. And these all these things have deep meanings when you really look deep into it. So in this town, I was helping them try to catch this dragon. And I remember walking through the woods and I had a bow and arrow, right? But remind you, I was not conscious at all. You know, I didn't question it. So as I was walking through this thick forest, I was literally like searching for this dragon. I'm looking for this dragon. And when I looked real deep into the forest, I saw this giant. It was a big giant. And also... The giant looked like one of the giants. If you watch the uh, Game of Thrones, you know, and within one of the last seasons, they had uh, one of these giants. And it looked just like one of those, you know, the same type of features, the clothing, everything. So I remember like, like, oh, my God, it's a giant. You know, I was trying to hunt the giant. Now the giant is running through the forest. I'm running after it. It's knocking trees down. All types of stuff. I'm shooting arrows at it. Boom, boom. Missing him. I couldn't hit the giant. As big as it was in the thick forest, it was pretty fast and it was moving really, you know, I couldn't get him. And I remember seeing like this portal open up within the forest and the giant went through the portal. So when I saw that, that's when I became conscious. Okay, that's when I be questioned it. So you gotta pay attention to your dreams. You might have some crazy dreams. And this is what makes me conscious when I see something that's not in the norm dealing with this third dimension that I'm so conscious in right now. So when you enter other realms, you know, you might see something so crazy. You don't, in dreams, you don't really question it. You're just going through the flow like it's just normal. You know, you might see a purple dog with wings and start flying and you don't question it. You just be like, oh, it's just a purple dog with wings and it's just flying, whatever. But then you wake up and you're like, oh, I had this crazy dream about this dog, this odd looking creature. But within a dream, you know, when you prepare yourself, you kind of question it. And that's when you become conscious. So this is how I'm able to have these experiences when dealing with lucid dreaming. Now, like I said, lucid dreaming and astral traveling, it's the same. It's basically the same, okay? It's probably dealing with different uh, different levels of realms, okay? I'm not fully, I don't fully understand how this works. This is why I'm making these documentations to try to figure this out. But um, within this dream, I saw the portal open up. This giant went through the portal. He disappeared. I questioned it. The portal was still open. It was like a, it was weird. It was like, it was like a, you know how they, when you see in the movies, it was like an oval shape, you know, and it was like swirling lights. And because I was conscious, I was just like, I'm gonna go through this portal too. So I went through the portal. Now I'm in a totally different world. And the world, I mean, it was kind of like the same type of setting, the same type of time period, but I was somewhere different because I was in this thick forest and now I enter like a town. And it was like, a, I'm always like in this shopping area. Like it's a place where there's a lot of people, right? A lot of people selling things, buying things, you know, entertaining, just talking. And, I'm, it's a, and, and the energy was real positive. You know, but when I went through the portal, I didn't see the giant. I was really after him. But once I saw him go through that portal, I became conscious. I was aware of what was going on. I was aware that I was dreaming. And like I said, if you ever had that experience, it's a very overwhelming experience. It's it's amazing feeling to have that, that you become conscious while you're dreaming. So I'm walking through this market, you know, still in like oh my god i can't believe this this is cool but like i'm walking around and it was funny because i was so happy like because i'm doing it right and at the same time trying to convince myself to calm down that's always the first thing i always always get over excited right so i'm like you know tapping people saying hi to them 
I'm just saying hi to everybody. I was just like the friendliest person, but I was just trying to kill a giant with an arrow, right? So I'm just walking around, I'm looking around, and that's what I always do. I always observe like every detail. I don't know why I do that, but I always do. I just observe everything, the ground, the people, the area, the, the, the stores, the clothing, the facial features, see if I see someone that I recognize, all that, all these things be going through my mind as I'm having these type of experiences. So after that happened, I saw, you know, and I was like, you know, hanging around this, this marketplace for like a very long time. So then when I looked far ahead of me, like over this mountain, there was just blue beam of light just shooting up into the sky and it, was, and it was lighting up the clouds, right? So I saw that from a distance. I said, oh wow, that looks crazy over there. I said, you know what? I'm gonna go check it out. So I would, you know, usually when I have an out of body experience, I kind of fly, right? You have the ability to fly, to teleport, um, Dulge into different time periods. Obviously, I was in, in ancient times, probably like the dark ages, right? Um, you had these abilities. Me conscious, I knew I had this ability, but I know it kind of uses up a lot of energy when I do this. Or sometimes it's very difficult to fly because uh, it's very, you have to use your mind when you're doing it. Um, so I said to myself, I'm going to walk there. I'm not going to fly. I'm just going to take my time and walk there and just observe the scenery. So as I started getting closer and closer and closer, I saw these beans. Now these beans kind of look like, um, like, like goblins, like, like the, well, from the Lord of the Rings, I'm trying to best describe it. Like the Lord of the Rings, the orcs. For those who have seen the Lord of the Rings and you see the villains, the orcs, right? they like these evil, ugly looking beings, right? With like sharp teeth. That's exactly how they look. But they had white hair and they were blue. Blue like the color, the color of my shirt. Blue like this. Like they were like baby blue, like their skin color. They had red eyes and I saw them coming. It was like an army of them. Now, remind you, they had armor on, with swords in their hand, and they come and they marching towards me as I'm walking towards where the light is at. So, I you know, they, they were kind of like distance from me. And I remember saying to myself, like, you know what? I'm going to change my mind. I'm going the other way. So then I turned around and I said, you know what? I said, and pool, within these experiences, you know, it's all about mastering your fear. And this is what I was saying to myself. This is how conscious I was. I said, every, you know, I have to master my fear. I said, you got to take the good with the bad. And I turned right back around and I went towards them and I faced them. As I start going towards them, we have actually met. Now I'm in front of this army of blue, you know, beings. And they were pretty cool. They wasn't even like trying to do anything to me or like chase me because I guess because I showed no fear it was just a different dynamic way I was trying to take this experience and they just went on their own way and then I just I went back where the town was at this is how conscious I was this this, this experience it felt like it was happening for a long time like if I was in this you know this room for a very long time conscious I ended up going back towards the town as I go towards the town, remind you, this is like a town in a time period of horses and carriages and knights and kings and dragons, right? So I saw a helicopter. It just stuck out, a helicopter. I know it sounds crazy, but this is what happened within my experience. So I seen the helicopter. I said, you know what? I'm going to try to fly this helicopter. I never flew in a helicopter before, but I'm going to try to fly it. I get in the helicopter. I try to fly the damn thing. Right, didn't know what I was doing. It was moving, it would move forward, but I couldn't fly up. So, and then it, out of nowhere, the helicopter turned into a bicycle, which was weird. And that's the thing about these realms, right? In the astral realm, nothing is solid like the physical, right? There's so many things that can shape shift and change right in front of you. It could be your scenery, it could be an object, it could be a person. It could be anything. Nothing stays the same for too long is what I've noticed and what I've learned through my experiences. 
I mean, I've seen people be right in front of me and then just transform into an animal or vice versa. I had experiences when I seen these tigers and right in front of my face, they just transformed into a humanoid type of being. So within this case, the helicopter just transformed into a bike and I'm on a bicycle. So now I'm pedaling the bike. So then I said to myself, you know what? I know I'm in the astral realm. I know my abilities. Okay, let me just have fun with it, right? So I started like riding a pedal bicycle like if it was a motorcycle. So I was making it move with my mind, by right? Using telekinesis to ride the bike without pedaling. And I was going pretty fast. And I'm riding through the town, dipping, going through hills, all the time. It was kind of fun. So then I try to do a, a scene like from E.T., right? I say, I'm going to try to fly with the bike on some E.T., right? Like, oh my, like I'm E.T. So I try to do it. And like I said, it's very... It's hard to, it's all mental when you're in these realms, when you're trying to use tele telekinesis. And I try to fly with the bike. It was very hard. But I ended up um, hearing these voices of a male and a female, like coaching me, right? It could have been my spiritual guides. I don't know. But they didn't show their faces. And I've had these experiences before that. I'm in an experience and I hear a voice within me, right? Somebody's speaking, somebody's communicating with me, right? I want to use the word speaking because speaking is using your vocal cords, right? Something physical, dealing with the physical body. So they were communicating with me through, through my mind, but I could never see them, but I could hear them. Like if they like right next to me. So I hear the girl, a female's voice. I hear a guy's voice and they sound like adults. They sound like, that's the only thing I could make out. They sound like adults. And they were like, concentrate, concentrate, you can do it. You know, vision, vision the bike lifting, vision it. Like they were trying to coach me. So the whole time I'm hearing these voices, I'm confused because I'm really looking for them. Like, wait, who's who's doing this? And then I'm trying to do make the bike fly at the same time. This experience is crazy. And that's why I say every experience is always different. It's always weird and crazy, but it's awesome. It, I mean, it's a, it's a pretty cool thing. Um... And as I'm trying to fly, I got it up a little bit, and then I just came down. And then when I came down, boom, I was back into my body, back into my physical body. And I remember I sat up, and I was just like, whoa, that was crazy. I mean, and as soon as I got up, I just started jotting it down. I started writing it on my phone, because I didn't have my book at the time. Um, so like I said, this is, this is what I do. As soon as I get up, write it down, you know. And um, think about it the whole day, so I won't forget. I mean, here I am. I wrote it down, but I just told y'all the story for exactly what, from detail to detail to what happened. And I didn't even have to read it. You see what I'm saying? Is you have to program your mind, program your consciousness, and you too will be able to tap into your higher selves, to your higher abilities. And we all can do it. That's the coolest thing about it. So that was my experience on Astral Traveling, uh, January 22nd, 2019. Um, so it was pretty cool. It was really deep. But I also had another um, lucid dream not too long ago. And um, I, didn't, I didn't write it down because it was very short. It was a very, by the time I became conscious, my alarm clock woke me up. So I didn't even write it down. I didn't even, I didn't even count it as like a full blown experience. Because most of these times, most of these experiences could be really short. And some of these experiences would be, you feel like you're like in these rooms for hours, right? Because time is different. Time is different. It, you know, it's different from the physical world realm um but i had a dream that i was uh i was somewhere like a restaurant or something and these kids was playing with these cans of soda right they were throwing cans of soda at each other and i was telling them to stop and then at that particular time i became conscious like oh wait a minute who are these kids like and i questioned it why am i here w what am i doing here and i said oh i'm dreaming and then i became conscious so then i became you know, to play with my abilities. And I remember I told the kids, you know, to stop throwing the cans. I'm gonna show them a magic trick. And I remember I had my hand out like this and I made the can 
zipped to my hand and I held it. And they were like, wow, how you do that? And then I'm gonna make the can like twirl in the air and then crushed it. And I made it come back into its regular shape. So like I said, telekinesis within these realms are real. Like, and it's, it's a real cool feeling when you're able to do these abilities and be conscious while you're doing them. It's a very powerful feeling. And I never use my, when I'm in these realms, I never really use these abilities on like negative, like negatively, like, you know what I'm saying? I don't do like try to kill people and crush people and blow, you know, buildings up. While people, I don't try to do that. I always try to be positive and be and, and, and deal with this realm with love, right? Because if you start thinking dark and using these abilities in dark ways, then it's, you're gonna attract dark entities. You're gonna attract negativity. So I always try to keep it positive. You know, now un unless I'm being threatened, if I feel threatened in these realms, you know, if I meet a meet an entity that's trying to attack me, and I'm gonna use my ability to protect myself. Um, but yeah, now I had two, you know, within this year, um, which is pretty cool. And it's just it's all due to me paying attention to my dreams and being conscious. I'm also I'm always reading books, right? So here's this new book that I'm reading. Actual Dynamics, right? It's a pretty good book. It's real good. I'm sorry, you can see it. Robert Bruce, right? Cool book. So in this book, I didn't get to finish it. I didn't even crack the surface. But it's a real good book. Um, get the book if you can. You know, every time I hear somebody speaking about a book, do, doing my research, I just I just order it. You know, it's, it's always good information. A lot of this information I know, but then there's a lot of information in here I didn't know. Like this book's basically like the, the chapters that I read. It speaks about you know your your split mind, and as it was he was explaining it, I kind of understood it. Um, and it talked about the the different bodies we have. Right, and it's all types of. You know, they got some cool like pictures in here, and um, so I don't know if you can see it. No, I'm sorry. So they got some cool pictures in here. They give you more visuals and uh, kind of show you. Yeah, here's another one. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get this camera right. So we gotta do the opposite of the camera. So it's showing you the, the different, it's saying the physical body the expanded energy body, the real time body, and then your higher body. So it's, it's breaking down the different um, bodies that we have. And um, which was pretty cool. It kind of go into details on that information. So it's a good book, Actual uh, Dynamics by Robert Bruce. Um, it also spoke about speaking to your higher self, right? And it's saying that if you want to have these experiences, all you have to do is just speak it, use the vocals. And I spoke about this in other videos too, by using the vocals as magic. But you have to, you know, want it because sometimes your higher self won't make you have these experiences because it might feel that you're not ready for it, right? And your higher self is just another extended body of you, right? So you're just having these experiences. So, I mean, it's just, it's probably not sure you're ready for that. Within, with me, you know, I guess my higher self was, you know, knew what I was ready for, knew what I could handle. And like, I, when I look back, when I read this book, I kind of like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Because a lot of my early actual traveling experiences, I was dealing with a lot of fear. You know, I was dealing with a lot of shadow beings and all the other type of entities that I was dealing with. And then once I overcame that, then it just stopped. So it's now like a whole nother level, right? So now I'm into, I'm trying to strengthen my, uh, my, uh, you know, being lucid by dreaming. That is my main, you know, objective now. But like I said, astral traveling, leaving from the physical body and lucid dreaming, you're already gone in these realms and then you become conscious while you're in these realms. So, I mean, a lot of my early experiences was me feeling a vibration and me actually separating and feeling myself separating from my body. And I think that is a little more scarier than lucid dreaming. Lucid dreaming is like you're already on the roller coaster ride. 
You know what I'm saying? So you're already on it. You just become conscious while you on the ride. It's a little different. You know, astral traveling is like you see the ride from a distance. You're waiting online. Your nerves is, you know, you you know, step by step from the beginning. And you, then you get on the ride and then you go for this amazing journey. That's the difference between astral traveling and lucid dreaming. So like astral traveling is a little scarier. I'm not going to, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you it is a little more scarier because you also feel in the vibration and for those don't know about kundalini look it up or your third eye the pineal gland look it up um so tons of information out there on it when you feel that kundalini rising man it's it's very powerful and it could be very scary and especially uh i also did uh videos on um sleep paralysis i did uh i think two videos on sleep paralysis on question everything so check those out as well and plus going through a sleep paralysis state when you're feeling paralyzed and then but you're conscious at the same time it's very it's a very scary feeling but once you get past all these things and the more you educate yourself the easier and the better the experience is going to be i mean like i said i saw these blue entities they looked at negative by their parents but they weren't. Now, if I'd, have, if, now, if I'd have been scared and feared and probably started running, they'd have probably chased me. They'd have probably reacted off of that due to uh, my higher self teaching me a lesson. You know, all these experiences that I've had in the past, they're lessons. You know, also, um, I also, I've been researching a lot about psychedelics. And, you know, ayahuasca, mushrooms, um, DMT, you know, there's all these types of, um, you know, these drugs that people can take to get to these places. But to be honest with you, that's like cheating, you know, and some people have good experiences and some people have bad experiences. I was also watching um, an interview with Joe Rogan. Like I like Joe Rogan. His his podcast is pretty cool. He be touching on some good topics, and he had Mike Tyson on it. And Mike Tyson had a um, a psychedelic drug. He did DMT, and he was just like, it was the most amazing experience. And he just looks at life life totally different. He looks at death totally different. So him taking DMT, he actually traveled. He journeyed into the higher realms and saw what all this really means. And now he just has a totally different aspect on life. And it changed him. He said, I mean, I wish I could do this every day. But he said it was scary. In the beginning, it was like a roller coaster ride. He was like, no, 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 yes. You know, it was real funny. But that's how it is when astral traveling. It's very scary in the beginning if you ever get to have that experience. But once you start doing it and you understand it, it's, it could be amazing. It could be amazing and it could benefit you a lot in life, you know. So it, it's definitely helped me, you know, for a person that had a, a very rough background, a really rough child upbringing and just experience in life in general, you know, just to, to know that there's something higher than this. You know, this is, like I said, we are all just having this big dream and we're having this like, human experience. Right now, I'm talking to you. I'm really sleeping. When I sleep, that mean when I go to bed is really when I'm in these rooms. I'm really awake. So it's always the opposite, right? That's something you gotta uh, you have to understand. So this is number 42. Like I said, 42 experiences documented since 2012. So I had a lot of experiences, a lot of experiences, and I don't think it's gonna stop no time soon because I don't want it to stop. I wanted to keep going and to keep learning and keep having these experiences because they're amazing. Even I even embraced the bad ones that I had in the past that were terrified, but it made me the better per person, you know, a better entity <clears throat> to this day. And it's pretty awesome that I get to share it with the world. Um, but you know, don't knock it if you never had the experience. You know, and for those that had the experience. And you're trying to tell people about it and they're not interested and they think you're crazy. Don't mind them. Just let it be. Because no one can tell you what you experienced. 
you know, and it's not really for everybody. It's really for you. Like, even for me, I don't need to be on this, you know, laptop explaining this to y'all. I do this because I want to. I do this because I know there are people out there that were like me and they were searching and they might stumble upon this video and be like, man, he's speaking some deep stuff. Or be like, man, I had that same experience. Oh, I know what it's like, you know, to actual travel, you know. So it helped me and this is why I do it, you know, to educate people, to talk about certain topics that are interested to me. And um, so just, you know, if you if you if you don't haven't had one, just keep practicing and don't give up. It takes discipline and it takes time. So just the first step, I always say, just pay attention to your dreams and keep writing them down. And as you write your dreams down, you're going to start reading them. And, you know, it's going to be different places you've been, people you met, things you did. And you're going to be like, damn, I was doing all this in this room. Yes, that was you doing these things, you know, even if it's good or bad. You know, like I said, in, in my experience, I had to take the good with the bad. It is what it is. But I'm going to uh, stop the video here. Um, I want to say thank you all for watching until we meet again. So this is Ampul Ra. With another video on astral travel. Journey well. Hotel.